Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the end of January and I'm excited to share with you my January thrift store finds. I think I've decided to rename these monthly videos probably the Goodwill Outlet Haul or something like that because I just don't shop the regular store anymore. Beside my regular Goodwill store is called the Bargain Center where everything's in bins. You have to dig through it. That type of shopping is not for everyone. First impression, everything just looks dirty and gross but I'm telling you if you are consistent and you go in there once or twice a week I have found some real winners in there I never pay over two dollars for anything lots of us have noticed it's a big difference who checks you out whether or not they charge you a quarter 50 cents or a dollar for something but most everything I have is way more valuable than a dollar and I don't mind paying a dollar for some things so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I didn't have a whole lot of luck with farmhouse vintage stuff this month because I'm always looking for that. I'm looking for craft supplies and always seasonal decor that I can trade out. And I told myself in January that I was not gonna buy any Christmas stuff because you know, once Christmas is over, I'm tired of it and I'm ready for it to go away. But there's a few things I just couldn't leave the bargain center without. The first one being this little wooden carved Santa head. I just, it looks, it appears to maybe be homemade. That hanger looks like a paper clip or something, but just so detailed and just love the look of the face. It can go on a wreath or put it in my tree as an oversized ornament or something. That that definitely will be packed up for next year. I'm always on the look for little gingerbreads uh, for my kitchen. I'm slowly growing my collection and just thought she was so cute with a rolling pin and little gingham dress. This little tea towel was embroidered with this little Santa on it. So cute. Now this glass snowman I bought probably a year ago, but I just wanted to show you that I finally found the little Santa that went with him. His hat comes off and you can put marshmallows or whatever toppings for your cocoa bar. Now uh, one of my favorite candle companies is called a Romanique. They're they're out of Arkansas and you may have seen them in Dillard's and Macy's and places like that even boutiques sell like the smell of Christmas the smell of spring you know all those the smell of and this is two of their candles the smell of Christmas I want to say they've changed the shape of their votive so this one may be a little older but they are still very fragrant these will be great for next Christmas I found several brand new things in the package this month and these two candy striped candles were one of them and I just thought how cute would this be for Christmas or Valentine's we all know decorative candles can be very expensive thought this was really pretty this big wood chunky kind of farmhouse inspired with the wood beads snowflake you can sit it on a shelf you can actually put it in your tree just thought that was really neat and rustic now here's what I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me y'all I could not believe it knew for sure when I pulled it out of the bin that it would be cracked or had a chip in it or something but it didn't have any price tag on it so evidently it was never in the store but I just couldn't believe it this is at least twenty dollars at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I couldn't get it out of the bin fast enough I have a lot of Ray Dunn. This is one I didn't have. Now within the same week, before I'd found the Merry Christmas tray, I found a little dog bowl that was Ray Dunn. This apparently had been in the store before. They have $3.99 on it. I just can't believe this didn't sell in the store. And I'll probably put this in our camper. Here's a couple other brand new things. A brand new Scentsy Brick. This is a fall scent. Central Park Pralines. It smells like caramel pecans. It smells so good. And this is adorable. The guy in front of me pulled out a tractor with little pumpkins all on it. I said, oh man, I wish I'd have saw that first. We just kind of laughed and he walked away. Well, I pulled a shirt or something out in the bottom of the bin and lo and behold here is the truck this is from a store called Fred's some of you may have them they've pretty much gone out of business where we live but it's it's a kind of a variety store very much like big lots but they do sell some clothes and things super cute brand new with the tags originally ten dollars a few little spring things this is my second little gnome I have found and these are not dollar store gnomes these are more like 
Hobby Lobby. You can just tell the quality and the paint job on them. And a couple of these cute little wire bird cages or whatever you want to call it. Just there's a lot you can do with these. You can put a candle in there, put some moss, some birds, a little nest. And this is super cute too. And put that over some eggs or whatever. Yeah, I've got quite the collection of rabbits, but I couldn't pass this little rabbit up holding the mushroom umbrella with his little ear down just super cute and carved out here is a third piece of ray dunn i found this month it's just a stemless wine glass it was actually a part of a two glass set because i've seen these at marshall's and tj maxx before but it says happiness and i'll just add it to my wine glass collection maybe paid a quarter for it now i love this right here this was a brand new pumpkin spice candle it smells really good and I love the neutral color of it. Thought this was super cute since my last name is N. I can stick that on a little shelf or somewhere, but that kind of fits into my farmhouse decor. And here's a brand new package of labels for my label maker. These are $5 at Walmart right now. I may have paid 50 cents for it. And those of you that do have those Dymo label makers, you can buy generic ones on Amazon if you go through a lot of labels but i usually don't but it's just good and i grabbed that since i knew that fit my machine now i thought this was a neat find this is just a little grocery sack full of decorative carrots these aren't dollar store carrots i counted them and there's nine carrots i don't know why it's such an odd number but these are definitely hobby lobby quality it would probably be at least twenty dollars for a box of these decorative carrots with 40 percent off i couldn't have bought these for less than ten dollars i would say these look so cute and a dough bowl on a table. I've got a couple little wheelbarrows. I can find somewhere to put these for the spring. Super cute. And I've kind of got some things stacked up here. Brand new in the box. We have a big swimming pool in the backyard and my kids will really enjoy this next year. This was originally, I think I found it, it was originally $10 and they'll just have a big time playing with this little volleyball set. Now I took this tablecloth out of the package. It was a mainstay. It was from Walmart, brand new in the package. Just this gorgeous Thanksgiving tablecloth. I normally use paper tablecloths, but when I came across this one with these beautiful leaves and the turkey, you know, even if it just goes on a small card table, dessert table, it's just beautiful. When it's fabric like this, they'll just weigh it. So I probably paid a dollar couldn't pass that up and it was at least ten dollars at walmart now a few little flags now this top one actually isn't a flag this is a long narrow painted canvas and i have a long narrow place in my kitchen that i like to hang things like this and i've got a couple already that's different seasons but just loved this hand painted santa on the canvas but just thought this was so pretty and can't wait to hang this up next christmas time i don't buy every flag i find i do buy flags that i know i don't have brand new in the package this uh, brand right here home accents that is either from home depot or lowe's i can't remember which one cannot pass it up it's at least a nine or ten dollar flag here's another one evergreen brand you see these in a lot of boutiques and a lot of different places look at the dogs with the bunny ears on just could not pass this up now i probably have a collection of over 50 flags probably even more than that as far as big ones and Easter are the only season that I'm a little low in. I found two this month. Little girl Easter bunny with the watering can. And then the last one, this one has some wire at the bottom and he is hiding behind some tulips. And look at the little butterflies that kind of spin when it's hanging. So, so there you go, friends. I'm telling you, it is not your grandma's stuff at least at my bargain center it's not i hope you can find a bargain center or an outlet store near your goodwill and see if you can find some of this current adorable stuff for pennies on a dollar thanks so much for watching and i'll be back in a few days bye bye